JT and Rock Your Body. It's today's best music, 98.3 The Key. It's Big Jim. It's Stacy Lee. It's your Wednesday, 810. Mm. All right, we've got Mr. J. Owen House on the line. Good morning, Jay. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're excited to have you now. You are. Uh, your show is called The Authentic Illusionist. And I know there's a Bengal tiger and an illusionist, but I don't really know much more. So tell us all about your show, which is going to be one show only Friday at the Toyota Center. Tell us all about it, Jay. Well, we are really excited to bring our show back to uh, the Toyota Center. It's, uh, it is the authentic illusionist and dare to believe, which is me. And it's the most, uh, I don't mind saying so myself, it is probably the most amazing magic in the world of grand illusions on stage. And of course, we will have our uh, Bengal Tigers with us. And it's also an evening of, of uh, intimate ad- magic in the audience, uh, dangerous escapes, and inspiring storytelling. And it's just been getting great reviews, and we're very excited to come back to Kennewick. Do you okay. guys chop anybody in half? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, we do saw someone in half. Oh, yes. <laughs> we saw someone from the audience in half. Oh, my gosh. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's that cool. is so awesome. <laughs> and tell everyone. So some people, you know, I love your tigers. They're beautiful. And tell everybody how they're they're actually part of your family. Well, yeah. So we have a sanctuary in, uh, in our home in Montana. Um, and I've been involved with the developing the sanctuary for you know, 25 years. And so, so really our, our commitment to tigers, you know, goes beyond the show. I mean, it started out as, as a love, you know, for these magnificent animals and wanting to preserve them in the wild. And when I decided to become a full-time illusionist out of college, we decided really to combine uh, the tigers in the show. Uh, we only take them out 10 to 12 days a month. They live most of their life uh, in the sanctuary. But we also feel that it's a, an awesome privilege to share them uh, with our audiences. So we do that uh, 10 to 12 days a month. And, and I think people really enjoy that aspect of the show. And I think um, it's rewarding for us to be able to share them with people in a very kind of intimate type setting. Okay. But yeah, you're right. They are part of our family. We've raised them since they were babies. All of our tigers live in our house for the first six months. Wow. And then once, once they get to be... About 100 pounds, we uh, move them out to the sanctuary, but we're still with them every day. Yeah, it's because, you know, the kitty you know, litter box has got to be horrendous <laughs> after they get after six months. <laughs> after I can't imagine cleaning that thing out. <laughs> Jay. Anyway, okay, so great and magical illusions. Uh, and like you said, out of college, you started doing this. Did, were you like one of those kids that always did magic shows for your friends? <laughs> you know, I became interested in magic when I saw a magician at my sister's birthday party when when I was four. Uh-huh. And of course, you know, back then it was before the internet. So when I got older, I pestered my mom enough to take me to the library to get books on magic. And <laughs> I just started doing card tricks and then I started doing shows. And I did my first show when I was a freshman in high school. Um, and then I, I kind of set it aside for a while and decided I was going to become a psychologist and went to college. And then when I was uh, pursuing a a doctorate degree in psychology, I had an epiphany one day. I just decided, you know, I'm, I'm going to focus on the two things I really love in life, which is my love for animals and and my love for uh, the art of illusion. And right. So that was kind of the, the pivot point for me. That's okay, so awesome. You, I love that. That's yeah. a great story. So you mentioned, uh, like, escape stuff. Look at Jim's wanting. He wants. He's not going to tell you how he does well, it. No, I'm not going to ask that, but I want to know. <laughs> give us a story of one of the closest calls you've ever had. Well, <laughs> so uh, you know, I, I, I kind of became a, uh, by accident, I guess, an expert on, on Harry Houdini's escapes because I studied him for about twenty years, and and then I was asked to do a, uh, a TV special for Fox on Harry Houdini. And ever since then, I, we decided to include a Houdini escape in every show, and not for the sense of trying to upstage Houdini because I don't think anybody could upstage him, but more for the purpose of, of recreating that experience of what would it be like if you were in the audience in the 1920s and see Harry Houdini do an escape. Right. And so that's what, what we do. And, and this year we're featuring Houdini's, you know, iconic upside down straitjacket escape uh, where uh, I hang 15 feet above the stage in a, in a regulation straitjacket. But to make it more exciting, I'm inside 
uh, two 300-pound steel jaws that are uh, held open by a rope that's lit on fire. So I have <laughs> two minutes to escape from the straitjacket, release my feet, and jump 15 feet to the stage before the rope burns through and these jaws come crashing close. And it's extremely dangerous. It's very real. Uh, I've been hurt three times doing it just in the last 16 months. I broke my uh, left ankle. I, uh, uh, I pulled muscles out of my neck. I dislocated my shoulder. And I wanted to take it out of the show, actually, because I felt I did it for a year. And, and that was enough. And uh, it was time to move on. But uh, this show is kind of a best of show that we have. And it's a combination of kind of some of my favorite things. And then through social media, the stuff that people have requested to see. And so that was one of the top things that people wanted to see again. So we decided to keep it in the show one more year. Okay. So far, it's been going pretty well. But every time I do it, I'm always very uh, happy when it's over because there's so many potential things that can go wrong, you know? Yeah. Man, I, that's that's really cool. All right. So, Jay Owen House, you were Friday night at the Toyota Center. What time does the show start? 7.30. Okay, 7.30. Now, do you do autographs, hang out? Is there anything before or after to let anyone know about? Or, or do you just disappear? What do you do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, yes, I'm always in the lobby after the show. I love uh, I love meeting people. Okay. Um, and then uh, we do have a special VIP meet and greet before the show where uh-huh. the proceeds go um, to the Corbett Foundation and the Rare Species Fund to... Uh, for tiger conservation so perfect right, awesome. thank you jay, uh, jay that was very very intriguing and we look forward to seeing you this friday night we're excited to be there thanks guys thanks all right jay take care bud